Hey guys, Rick Shaw here. It's the uh, 12th of April, uh, 21, and babies are all swimming. Mama's out. Uh, she actually took the pass. I told her just take the pass. When we had the pass done, uh, that they came, they came to our house. The Baron guy people came to our house, and they said they asked me what my name was. I said M, and they were like. M? Yeah, that's my name. So they wrote it in M. Well, my wife's name's Mariface, so since the pass only says M on it, I, I wanted to do that so she could use it. And she was afraid to, but today she decided, okay, I'm going to... She got. She had to get out. I think she was going stir-crazy a little bit. And, um, you know, she was doing visiting herself in the house and doing a lot of stuff, and I was starting to feel sorry for her. Just go. Just go. Go out, go do some shopping, go air your head out a little bit because this lockdown stuff is such a big pile of hokum. I, I just don't get it. But I uh, was watching a couple YouTube channels. Uh, saw Philly in the Philippines and, and uh, actually picked up a couple more channels I'm going to start looking at. I haven't watched any yet because my, yeah, my signal is so bad here. But... Um, I actually had some people saying, oh, you know, I want to send you this or I want to do that and, and all that. Well, something I wanted to say about this channel here, I never started it to make money. That is not that is not my goal. If YouTube would ever monetize me, I would take that money and just spend it on uh, Filipino people we know here that aren't doing so well. That's That would be what I would do. But uh, that's not happening. Uh, they're screwing with my numbers again. Uh, you know, I picked up a whole bunch of subscribers uh, with some videos and huge view amounts. And now all of a sudden I can't get over 3,080 because they, they just blocked it and locked me down again. I go down, it goes back up, it goes down. Uh, I get uh, subscribers saying that they've been uh, unsubscribed. Uh, so everybody who's a subscriber, check it out uh, and put it in the comments because I think YouTube uh, hates my guts. They, they just don't like me. But like I was saying, I do this thing. When I started this channel, uh, I've got health problems. And I, I truly believe all my health problems started from when I, right after I got the amoeba. They gave me um, drastic... Uh, antibiotics to kill it which they put me on for 30 days and when I went back to the hospital they tested me and I, we have a really good hospital here great doctor and they said look it's it's in the bloodstream and they hit me with 30 more days of antibiotics and I think that wrecked my intestines. Uh, I've been having trouble uh, ever since that happened. I was having these crazy uh, heartbeats. I actually, when I was in the hospital one time, my heartbeat went up to 195. And uh, it, just, it just was crazy. And uh, I went out. Uh, you know, I just went out. Doctors gave me something to slow it down, and then they slowed it down too much, and they had to give me something to speed it up. I guess they were working on me for a while, but it was bad. And they said, you need to get to the States. And I went to the United States in 2016 for just a little bit short of six months, so I wouldn't lose my visa. Three separate hospitals, and every single place said, we don't know what's the matter with you. All of them. We don't know. Nobody can, and I was tested for every dang thing. A lot of you viewers give me stuff, oh, you know, this, that, and the other. I've done all that. I get, uh, like right now, you just I just burped again. I constantly get this burping. When my heart goes into this crazy thing, it's, I swear it's from the stomach. That's what it's from. But what I was getting at here a little bit ago, I started this channel so my kids can see me, what kind of man I am, and in case if I kick the bucket, so they can see me, you know. And I hope YouTube doesn't ever take me down. Uh, my wife does put it on her um, 
chat she she saves as many uh, I was saving everything to my phone on the sim card and we wanted to transfer it over to a computer when we get it but all of a sudden with these updates on the phone that got crapped out uh, Samsung phones as far as I'm concerned they really suck but this channel was never started to make money uh, I actually had a fellow from Canada Wanted to send me money, give me your PayPal, give me. No, I'm not. You know, I, I I thanked him for the offer, and then also Jim down in South Carolina, he wanted to send the kids some stuff and all that. And I do, I thank everybody for the offer, I really do. But I'm not um, here. We're do we're doing. Believe me, we're doing just fine. Uh, I actually took my pension and separated it into parts for my wife to get some and for the kids to get some so that if I do kick the bucket uh, that she won't have big amounts of time that she has to wait for money it's she's already getting it and the kids are already getting it I separated it all out it won't stop I did tell her that if you know if something happens to me we have to report it right away because they'll make you pay money back through my pension so, and I don't want to get into any headaches or entanglements with that. So that's taken care of. Uh, the, the money I have saved up over the years and the gold I've saved and the silver and all that, she, she can get access to all that. And uh, I, I want her to have that so that these children can... Uh, you know live a good life she's she's the same as me when it comes to a lot of things like with the tutor coming here and making sure they're learning we want them to be learned not just here but i want them to learn the united states government and things about there and i want them to learn about the laws and things about here so you know we're getting them as much as we can I pray to the good Lord every day that he gives me plenty of time with them. Uh, you know, I love these babies. I, I love these babies like you guys wouldn't believe. And I just want, uh, uh, I want them to know that if I do kick the bucket, I want them to see these videos and to be able to go back to them to know how much their papa loves them. Uh, because, and they know it now. I mean, they do know it right now. Uh, I remember when I was, um, it was, Quite a while ago, I left for Davao for work, and I was gone for almost six months. And my and my little Maddie, he's the closest to me. Uh, when we go to bed at night, he's always got his hand on me. If I get up to go take a pee, he wakes up. Where are you going? He's he's worried. And when I went to Davao for that time, he was uh, he was really messed up. I was thinking about wanting to come back. You know, for a couple of weeks, he was just really distraught uh, he, he you know just upset his whole life uh, but the you know the messenger with the with the camera thing uh, that helped a lot and I, I was able to stay and made some pretty good money uh, but you know it was it was tough for him when I went back in 2016 he was just very young but uh, he is the closest to me uh, when it comes to the kids uh, if I if I go anywhere, he wants to come. Uh, doesn't matter what I do, even moving around the house, he, he kind of he's my little shadow. I remember when when I was very young, my mother called me her little shadow. And out of all the people in the world, uh, yeah, I love my mom. I, I just loved her to death, and I did. I shadowed her. I was. Uh, they said, "Oh, you're tied to her apron strings." You know, they, my brothers used to te tease me all the time. And a couple of my sisters teased me. Well, I loved her, and uh, you know she's gone now, and that was uh, that was really tough because I couldn't be there. But uh, you know I was out here, but I loved her, and he's the, he's the same way. He's kind of tied to my apron strings. He wants to learn everything. He's uh, if I change. Uh, do any work on the car or I do any work in the house with electrical. He's right there uh, I was up fixing a light on the ladder and he climbed up the other end of the ladder because he wanted to know um, and that 
that is a gift, guys. Don't ever, don't ever think that something like that's not. Don't ever push your children away when they're shadowing you and they want to um, be with you. It's a gift. And if you push them away, when they get older, then you'll be pushed away and you'll be lonely. I don't push these babies away, none of them. Uh, now, Dorothy's very close to me, but I know what's going to happen with her when she gets big. She's going to get married. She's going to cleave to her man, as it should be. But uh, Geronimo, he's another one. He, he just loves to hang with me. Uh, he lo but he is a, he's a going to be a ladies' man. He loves his mother. Uh, you know, if, if it comes down to, uh, you know, when we're going to bed, he, he wants to crawl in with her. So, and that, that's a good thing because my sweetie, I remember when uh, my daughter was born, she says, oh, that's a daddy's girl. And then when Maddie was born, right off the bat, we knew he was a daddy's boy. And she kind of felt uh, a little bit left out because there was no mama's boy or mama's girl. Well, guess what? She got one with little Geronimo, which is a good thing. And uh, he's, a, he's a super uh, little love. Uh, all these kids are. Uh, when, I, when I get up in the morning, I, I'm usually up around 4, and I'll come out here and sit. And they'll all get up. I, this morning, I had a, a three of them all gang squeezed me. We <laughs> had this big gang squeeze. Mama didn't come out. Uh, she was still sleeping, but uh, I had a big gang squeeze. And uh, we love our family gang squeezes. Uh, we love our, our dinner times when we all sit around the table. I remember when I was young, uh, there was a lot of us at the table. We had this mo monster's table. I've never seen a dining room table as big as the one when we were growing up than we had when I, when I was little. It was just a huge table, but you had to be quiet. You couldn't crunch your vegetable tray. You couldn't, you know, it was just, it just wasn't cool. My house, the loudest time we have, other than the swimming pool, is when we're having dinner. Uh, we're yakking, we're just having fun. The kids are cutting up and just being silly. And that's the way I like it. Uh, my wife, it took a while for my wife to get used to that, but it's just something I love. I, I just love that they're constantly yakking and having fun. Mumu's the most talkative out of all the babies. I mean, he'll sit there and have conversations that just shock me at, at three years old. Uh, he's just an amazing, amazing child. All of them know where they came from. All of them will tell you. God scooped me up from the mud, he breathed life into me, and he poked me in mommy's belly. They're all going to tell you the same thing, because they know it. We're teaching them uh, about Jesus Christ, uh, how he died for us. Uh, I have a Bible book in there. Uh, it's for children. I had a whole bunch of the books. We're going to give them away to Faye's brothers and sisters for their kids uh, that we, we had bought. We, we were out at a... Uh, Little, little, some lady's little store, and she had all these books, and it was like 13 volumes, and only one volume was missing. And I bought them all for, oh my, it wasn't even a thousand peso. And I was reading to them out of that. Uh, but then we were in, we were in S and R uh, here a couple months back, and they had a Bible book that had all the stories for the kids in the Bible. And I, I sit and read it to them. Uh, I, I just, I want them to know that. Uh, you know, about Samson and all this stuff, about his hair. Uh, they, they get into that. And um, this kind of stuff is true because there was a government study. I put it on my Facebook way back. You'd probably have to scroll down a mile and a half to get to it. But there was a United States government study where they took these Indian guys that were trackers in Vietnam, and the ones that had long hair were able to track really good. And those same people, when they were tested, when they shaved their head military style, they lost their ability to track. So it's a that's a thing. That's like why I'm growing my beard. Well, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it hang out. I I had long hair for many years of my life, and. I'm just going to keep it that way. But uh, just wanted to give you this one today. 
I'll let you know my thinking on that. I appreciate all you people uh, that are here that offer things for here. Uh, thank you. No. Uh, this is not a channel that's... Um, we're not we're not looking for uh, for anything from anybody uh, it's more of a, a family thing and then I'm glad I'm glad you know I'm so happy about all the comments I get uh, positive positive comments from all you folks uh, there's a lot of folks when you when you come here when this finally opens up and you guys are able to come I want to meet a bunch of you I want to meet a whole bunch of people have a cup of coffee we'll you know we'll sit around and and visit with each other that sounds great to me but uh we're we're doing really well uh you know we looked up a thing one time it said uh you know what filipinos make and what their middle class was and we're we're like way upper middle class here uh we're, we're doing good uh, these last few months uh, you know, we get down to the end of the month, we're broke. You know, the last the last week or two, we're broke because I've been I was dumping so much money on this house that's never going to be finished. Uh, that's what we've been doing. But you know, once this thing's done, we're we're back. You know, we're back in the pink, basically. Uh, we you know, we normally with my pensions coming in. Uh, we don't spend it all. I mean, I, I put money back. We, we put, uh, you know, well over a grand in the kids' uh, bank accounts every month. You know, just so that when they get big, uh, car, house, you know, and, and what we're thinking of doing too is uh, down the road here, as houses come available in the development of, of buying one you know uh, there's two little ones behind us now I wish I could buy them if I could buy them I'd buy them now I'm, I'm serious I'd buy them right now and that way two kids are covered and we can keep them close to home uh, we still want to do a vacation home down in Mindoro which it'll happen uh, we, we still want to do our camper truck uh, you know I always love campers and travel trailers and stuff like that and I, I'd like to build one here. Uh, Mike, my buddy Mike down in Ciriago. Uh K Mike on the uh, on here. That's his uh, handle for here. Uh, he sent me a really cool thing about when you go down to his area. They have the L300. They're camper specials that you can rent, and you can drive all around down there. It's, it's so cool. Uh, and I want to go visit him. Uh, I'm planning that after our move. I want to go down and visit this guy. We've been going back and forth for a year, and uh, he's my kind of guy. I want to go see him, and uh, I, I want to pick up one of those really cool little jeepney backs for the motorcycle, and uh, I'd like to see this uh, camper so I can get ideas for my own, make sure I don't, you know, do the wrong thing. I want to I want to set a camper up. I know pretty much what I want now, but I'd like to see. You know, it's like the tiny homes. When I look at tiny homes, I'm constantly going on YouTube looking at tiny homes to get ideas cuz I'm in a tiny home. If I would move back to the states, I wouldn't get a big house like I had before, a 3800 square foot house like I had before even with these kids. No, I do a tiny home cuz I think they're just too cool. So that's just my bag. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, don't forget to pray for each other. Thank the good Lord uh, for every breath you get. And, uh, you know, I, I get some people on there. I had one guy on there said, you know, I, I'm tired of hearing of your religious beliefs. Why don't you stop that crap? You stinking effing be Well, I deleted, I deleted that because he started swearing. But you know something? You don't like uh, what I believe, then you don't like what most Americans believe. And most people around the world, a lot of people, don't watch. <laughs> Turn it off. He's commented on videos for the last six months, and every single time he's following, every single time I deleted him. Maybe he's a bot. I don't know. But you all take care, and this is Rick Shaw out. Quick PS, guys. Uh, something I wanted to mention my mentality and also it works this way in my family if if a traveler comes to visit me or travels a long way to to come to my house 
uh, it's customary in, in like in my family and my people to pay uh, like when my buddy Sc Scott came to visit Hokum and and a lot of my friends came to visit they pay nothing whenever we go somewhere if we go out to dinner I'll pay if you want to stay here I buy the beer uh, that's just the way we do things uh, if I go to visit you then usually what happens is it's reciprocated. Uh, the traveler shouldn't be the one spending all the money uh, when they visit. Uh, that may be different here in the Philippines, but that's that's my way. Uh, and I sure would like if I see a lot of you guys uh, that come visit in the Philippines and we stop somewhere and meet you and we stop at a restaurant, uh, just let me pay. It's, it's the way it should be. So, Take care, guys. Thanks a lot.